Hi guys, Terrence Mackey is here back with another video, another mukbang for you guys. Welcome to the cookout where you, you, and you are all invited. <sighs> okay, it's lunchtime guys. So I didn't eat breakfast, I skipped breakfast exactly for this moment. And look what we have here today, guys. I outdid myself today. All right, let's play a tie. So these are leftover Red Lobster Biscuits. Everybody love Red Lobster Biscuits, me too. Leftover macaroni and cheese. We got some buffalo wings. We got some mixed veggies right there. That's carrots, broccoli, red peppers. I seasoned it up. It was just like, you know, Simply Choices or Green Giant or whatever package and I just heat it up and then I had some roasted potatoes from Kroger. Well, wow, I know. Okay. Mmm, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm so excited um, to be eating this. Um, so, today's topic, of course, I got my co-host. Let's introduce. We got Bubbly. This is a strawberry flavor, guys. So, Bubbly, say hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, so today I will, I love mason jars. So, we got that. So, what I like to do is take a little bit of juice. Ooh, a lot of air in that juice. And I like to, this is how I like to do my drinks. I talked about this in my other video. It's kind of like a cocktail. I like to pour and then I like to drink. Because I like to taste it separate. I taste like Kool-Aid. So that was the last of that, like so. Then take this, and this is berry punch. And like I said, I like fizz in my like pop and juice together. And then that's how I make my drink, y'all. Yeah. Okay, so I got that. So over here, of course, I got hot sauce on deck. I put this on everything. Everybody knows. I put it on my potatoes, all over my vegetables, all over my macaroni, and then I also put some more on the buffalo sauce. I really feel like you can't never have enough hot sauce, you know what I mean? That's my own personal opinion. Alrighty, so let's get right into it, guys. How are you guys doing today? I hope everybody is great, well, wonderful. Get into this. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Biscuit. These chocolate cheese biscuits are so good. Okay. So, topic of the day. Everybody is saying a lot of stuff. About the quarantine, everybody staying in the house and everything. What I want to talk about today is I've lived with somebody who's in the medical field. Um they continue to have to go to work. I myself do not have to go to work. I do not work for something that's essential to the government. So, in a scenario, um, if you live with somebody that possibly has COVID-19 or whatever you believe in, coronavirus, the Rona, whatever the case may be, do you think that they should be quarantined in the home with the people that are not eat because y'all stay together. Do you think, how do you guys go about that? Do you guys think that they should stay in their, like in their room or designated area only and call out to be helped by the people that they stay with? Or should they have to leave their residence to, for the safety of everybody else in the house so they're not catching it? What do you guys believe in that? Especially like family and friends. I mean like brothers and sisters, um, kids even, with parents. Do 
you guys all stay in the house together and they quarantine their own different thing and people just help them and be like, I'll bring it to you or don't come out or do you say, look, you need to move for the safety of me, whatever the case may be. What do you guys think about that? Thank God, even though my family works in the medical field, they do not have COVID-19 any cases at their facility. So we all good over here, yeah, okay? But I know some people are tough like, I have kids, you grown, you may need to go stay somewhere. I've heard of people putting their own family in hotels and then they had to go and isolate themselves somewhere else. What are you guys' thoughts on that? My thought process is this. I'm not really scared of much. I'm not really scared of much, so... I believe you could probably just stay in the house. I mean, if you don't mind just staying in the room or in your quarantine area, I can help disinfect, stay clean, you know, bring you whatever you need or whatever, not touch nothing, like be really safe. I need to go to Buffalo with these guys. I don't think I did a thumbnail, but it's okay. So, I think I'm just that type of person, like, I'm pretty safe, I wash my hands, I don't touch things to put in my mouth or my nose, you just need to not touch everything in the house. Let me know, but you can be smart and prepare, bring everything you know that you normally would want, and now, it don't really matter if you go to the hotel. People still don't have to come over there to check on you. I would hope so. There's no refrigerator, there's no stove, there's no nothing. You're still gonna have to come over there and drop stuff off, so you might as well stay at home comfortable. But that's my thought process. What are y'all? What are y'all stands on this, especially with families? Do you kick them out? Or do you let them stay and quarantine in the home because it's already in the home anyway? How y'all feel about that? Everybody, go check out my last video. I did my ultimate breakfast video. Go check that out. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Let me know what you guys want to see, what you guys want me to eat. Try this out. I love juice and pop together. This is, like I said before, has zero calories, zero sugar, zero sodium, zero carbs, zero protein, zero everything. It's like water, just with fizz. It's just the water. And this has all the sugars and bad stuff. But it says 100% natural. <laughs> but bubbly. I love it, guys. I like it better than Perrier and, Caro um, and LaCroix. Try it out. All many different flavors. Like, this is so good. This is such a nice lunch. It looks like this is a gourmet meal, but this was in a box from TGI Fridays. A box, a bag, a restaurant. This is the only thing that was homemade. Macaroni. I'm gonna eat a little bit, y'all, okay? chicken. I like the clip bone. I know that's been a big debate 
in our culture. Now y'all eat y'all chicken. Now y'all eat my chicken. Some people leave all that stuff out on it. All right, yeah. Mm mm, that gotta go. It was good. Juicy parts. Mm, that's just a bone. Yeah, I don't need none of that. I don't believe in that, but there's so many people that drive me insane where they waste so much of the chicken. So much. So what's the point? These potatoes are so good. And it was already seasoned. I just put some more seasoning salt on it. Calories. Sorry, seasoning. My favorite is drum. Also, are y'all drum or flat people? I love drums. I always say God made his own personal little handle for me to just. Then wings. You just gotta get on the middle of them. This is so good. So good. Hot sauce. So good. Yum. I really been having to taste the crab. I think we gonna have more crab. I had crab the other day. Maybe I eat the crab on my on my YouTube channel. What do y'all think? Crab legs. I uh shout out to everybody who commented on my tuna fish salad video. Nish, my cousin. Shout out to <coughs> wrong hole. Um, something crunchy is coming, cousin. I'm gonna eat something crunchy. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that one up close and personal though. Oh. Excuse me. On the vegetables, I put um all-purpose Greek seasoning. I'm okay. This would have been perfect keto for all my keto people out there, just like me. Only thing that's not keto on here, the vegetables, okay, and the chicken technically. The only way this chicken will not be, because this looks just like skin, no batter. On the batter, they use flour, and you cannot eat flour, no starch. No starch. So for all my keto people, this is something you could have ate, could have ate the chicken wings with no batter, so they would have been just a deep fried with the skin and the vegetables. You can't eat the noodles from the starch, no carbs from the bread, and no carbs. So it would have been just vegetables and chicken. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. You guys are stopping into the cookout. Terrence Mackey eats out. <laughs>